We are getting our first look at the police body camera video and the exchange police had with Anthony Alvarez in the seconds before he was shot and killed in Chicago's Portage Park neighborhood last month. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live with one key question. Today's release does not answer. Chris. Brad, Erica, the release today from the Civilian Board of Police Accountability or COPA offers the clearest picture yet of how police spotted Alvarez and the chase that followed. What it doesn't offer any clarity on is how he appeared on police radar to begin with. Four weeks ago today at the intersection of Addison and Laramie, Anthony Alvarez intersects with police just after midnight. With no car, walking turns to running as sirens kick in behind him. He drops what appears to be a bag and the chase is on. Cameras inside the store rolling too as the chase leaves the shell station. This angle from across the street shows Alvarez on foot before he turns from the sidewalk to the alley. For perspective, the shell is located there on Addison, the end point of the chase on a neighboring residential lot on Eddy Street. This is how they got there. You're watching the body cam of the shooting officer identified in the police report as Evan Solano. It's just one of two cameras that capture the crucial seconds. The other is this doorbell camera. It shows Alvarez fall not once, but twice as he turns the corner from the alley, allowing the officer time to catch up and shout, hey, drop the gun! Drop the gun! From the officer's perspective, you can see a gun in Alvarez's hand. It appears on the left side of his body, but was in his right hand, potentially in motion towards that officer. In the seconds that follow, Why are you shooting me? You had a gun! Seconds later, Officer Solano begins chest compressions, then turns Alvarez's belt into a tourniquet to try and save him. Stop moving! I'm trying to help you! Stay with me, man. Stay with me. Alvarez would be taken to the hospital where he later died. The officer is on administrative leave pending this investigation. As far as what put Alvarez on the radar to begin with, COPA only saying today, quote, he was a person known to the officers. Again, what put him on that radar is still unclear. Mayor Lightfoot actually today with the clearest picture yet of what may have brought him onto the police radar, saying that it was a minor traffic infraction. More on this at six. Live in the Streetside Studio, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.